Hey guys, it's Alicia. Today I have a quick, easy, kid-friendly recipe for you, and that is for cheeseburger bombs. Now I have done taco bombs, which are very, very similar to these, and I found both recipes on the Weight Watcher website, um, and both are very good. So I'm gonna show you how to do the cheeseburger bombs today. The taco bombs, I believe, are in one of my what's for dinner recipes. I will link that up above and down below if you wanna check those out too. First, you're gonna need two ingredient pizza dough. I will link the recipe or the video where I did this for pizza up above and down below. Also, this is super, super easy. It is basically just a cup of fat-free plain Greek yogurt and a cup of self-rising flour. That is all there is to this. Then you're gonna need a medium red onion chopped, and you might want to chop a little finer than that. I didn't chop mine super fine. Then you're gonna need a half cup of 50% fat-free cheese, eight ounces of a really lean burger, or you can use ground turkey. I have actually been using mainly ground turkey lately, but I haven't been able to find it lately, so using lean ground beef. Then here I've got a quarter cup of dill relish, a little bit of yellow mustard, and then an egg that I've lightly beaten, and that is just gonna be for the egg wash on the top of these. And that is all there is to these. First thing you're gonna do is get your oven preheating to 425. Then I have a medium-sized frying pan here, and I'm gonna just spray a little bit of olive oil in this, just so that meat and onion that I'm gonna put in does not stick horribly bad. Then, and I have this on medium-high heat. Then I'm gonna add my burger, or ground beef, and my onion. A little ground pepper. You can add salt if you want. And then I'm gonna just cook this for about five minutes or so until that ground beef is completely done and those onions are softened. And then while that meat is cooking, I'm gonna start getting the dough ready to go here. So I'm just gonna put down a little bit of flour, take my dough, and I've already kneaded this, but I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut it into eight equal parts, or as close to eight equal parts as I can get. And then I'm gonna take each one of those parts and I'm gonna just flatten it into roughly a five inch diameter circle. About like that. And then I'm gonna just do that with all of these. So here I've got four of those done up and really you can only do four at a time if you're gonna be putting them directly on your cookie sheet. Um, but I've got the other four over here. And I've got that parchment paper down just so that these don't stick to the cookie sheet. They probably won't, but, but just for extra insurance that they don't stick, I've got the parchment on here. And here is what my meat mixture looks like. Now that is a lot of onions. If you don't like onions, I would suggest maybe subbing those out with something like mushrooms or bell pepper, something else. But the point of those is basically to add bulk to this because you're only using eight ounces of meat. So you're adding bulk without points with those onions. So now that I've got those rolled out, I'm gonna take my cheese and I'm gonna put about a tablespoon in the middle of each one of these. Followed by about two tablespoons of the meat mixture. And I'm gonna put a little more than the two tablespoons that it's calling for. And this I think happened with the uh, taco. taco ones too. And you end up with extra filling. So I'm gonna put probably closer to three, maybe even four in these. And now I'm gonna add 
a half tablespoon of the dill relish on here. I think the recipe calls for chopped dill pickles, but I don't have that, so I'm just using dill relish. And then I'm gonna add about a half teaspoon of mustard. And then I'm gonna just roll these up, kind of just pulling up the sides and pinching them as I go. Push that over and then flip it over, seam side down, like that. Okay, so that's what those look like. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of them and then I will be back. I've got these all done, so now I'm gonna take my egg and I'm gonna just gonna baste a little bit of this on the tops of these. All right, now I'm gonna bake these in my preheated oven at 425 for about 15 minutes or until they start to get a little golden brown. These have been cooking for just about 15 minutes. They are done. So I pulled them out and now I will uh, show you what they look like inside. So here is a serving of those. It's two of them and they are seven points on the green plan. I will figure out what they are in the other two, the blue and the purple, and I'll have those on here too, but seven points on the green plan for two. And my hubby's gonna go ahead and you wanna cut one into one of those? Show them what it looks like inside. Oh mm, wow, they smell good. Yeah, they smell that, really good. That relish. They smell like hamburgers. Let's see if you can see in there. Ooh, there goes my mustard. And then my that is what they look like inside. And we just got a little mustard with them because that's no points. I guess you could use ketchup or a low sugar ketchup or something if you wanted to. Dip those. You can see the bite there. Love the way that relish smells. Yeah, it smells real good. It's gonna burn me bad. Yeah, they just came out of the oven. Mm. We got a peep, a peep a peeper over here. <laughs> She's looking. What do you think? It's good. I'm gonna. I want to take a bite without the mustard. Now this has a little mustard in it, right? Yes. Mm, those are really good. How do you, do you like these better or the taco ones better? Probably the taco. Yeah, the taco ones are pretty good. And like I said, I will link that uh, video that shows me making those, but these are good too. Kid friendly. You could kind of switch up what you put in there. Like I was saying, if you don't like onions, you could use maybe a different veggie or do a combination of veggies. Uh, we love onions. I think what's throwing me off is that, that the way that meat was prepared isn't really hamburger-esque. Oh, because it's ground? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a winner. Yeah, no, I'd eat those again happily. All right. These are cheeseburger bombs and like I said very good for only seven points I think that's a decent amount two of those for seven points on the green plan yeah no I have there's some meals we have that I feel um, cheated not with that not, one. not with this one no all right guys I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one